what's up everybody this is Ritz from Torch Woodworks um, coming at you real quick with a really fast video uh, sorry about the delay in all these videos we are currently absolutely slammed with orders so you have to excuse all the sawdust and everything's kind of dirty in the shop we're currently working through about 30 flags that we're trying to get done in about a week and a half along with our other orders such as unions which supplies I don't know if any I don't know if any of you guys and gals who are making flags or even any woodworking have noticed certain things just taking absolutely forever to get to you well we're fighting that currently supplies have been a pain to get on time um, stuff that normally takes a couple days have been taking um, shoot three weeks two weeks sometimes so it's been driving us insane so but what I'm gonna do for this video real quick is going to show you how I design and uh, and carve a name onto a stripe it's really simple um, the two that I'm gonna be doing today I'm only gonna show you one are gonna be on a small flag which is a one inch stripe uh, and the one one of them's just a name another one's kind of a, a rank and a call sign I believe um, so we're gonna work on that real quick. Uh, what I do is, I believe it's gonna be 15 inches, but we'll figure that out when I design it. Uh, I'll go ahead and measure from the end right here, 15 inches, and then give myself a half an inch. Because normally I trim an eighth off of my flags to make it perfectly square. So I give myself about a half an inch, and that gives a good little gap at the end, so it doesn't look too bad. So. What I'll do first is we're going to design it. Um, once we design it, then I'll kind of show you how I set it up on the machine. All right, guys. So what I got here is a 15-inch piece. Let me move this out of the way. We got a 15-inch piece, and we are going to. And it's obviously since it's a small flag, it's going to be one inches. So I have it. Uh, say right here of what they want on there so what I do normally for these uh, let's see is um, either Baskerville or Sinsil those are the two I usually use but for this one we're gonna use Baskerville and it is going to say alright this one will say CPT so captain CPT, and I'm just going to write it in there first. Let's see, CPT Anthony. Lap, Lapzinski, maybe? I don't know. Lapzinski. Let me double check the spelling. C Z Y N S K I L A P C D. Yep. All right, Anthony. Yep. All right, I'm gonna just double check. Uh, I don't want you guys to be able to see this because it's got people's information. So what I'm gonna do is pause it real quick, double check, and I'll be right back. All right. So I confirmed that is correct. Now I just kind of drag it and. Uh, make sure it fits. I don't want it too um, close to the edges and these got a lot of them that uh, that go up and down so it's kinda you just kinda gotta center it a little bit and we're gonna make our own space so we're just gonna kinda take it right there to the end right Oh wait, no, sorry. We're gonna do it ourselves, so. Let's actually shorten this up. We don't need 15 inches of it, so let's do, we'll do 10 and a half. So let's change this to 10 and a half. 10.5, and that should be good. All right, now you just wanna center it. Let's go up just a little bit. All right, that looks good. Let's make sure we got we're on our 60 degree bit, and everything else looks fine. I want to change the depth to 0 0.025. 
Alright, let's machine, advance, generate G code, export G code. Alright, now let's go into UGS. Sorry, do I have it connected? I do not have it connected, so hold on, let me turn everything on. That's on. Plug in the USB. Going to hit the connect button. Get an alarm. Home machine. Alright, got that. Let's go ahead and open it up. Alright, so now everything's set up on the computer. Let me get the stripe set up and I'll show you how I measure it off and everything like that. So it's ten and a half inches what we got. Alright, so all I did is I measured it. What side is it on? There you go. Uh I measured it from this end right here, which would be the end of it, to ten and a half inches, made that mark right there. So what I do is take a piece of tape, see if I can do this while in, and try to line it up as best you can with your mark right there. Alright, so right there. Try to make it straight. Boom, like that. Alright, the reason I do that is because now I know exactly where I need to zero at my bit, which is the lower left hand side of it. This is ten and a half inches, so we're gonna zero it in right there in that lower corner. So like I said, forgive the mess. It is bad right now. Alright, let's go ahead and move one of these over. Okay, so uh, so we got it there. We got it all lined up in square, uh, and now we just go to cut it. So let me get the bit changed out because we're going to be doing it with a 60 degree white side V bit. Let me get that changed out, and we'll get cutting. All right, so that's it. So as you can see, I got plenty of space. Like I said, we'll probably cut a little bit off of there, but with giving, I don't like it right all the way up to the end of it. I like having, it's gonna be probably about like that, which I think that looks really good. So anyway, that's how I do it. Hope you guys have a good week. Make sure you're getting plenty of sawdust, like I'm doing every freaking wear. So I promise next video we got coming up is gonna be really awesome. We have a upgrade to this bad boy that we'll be doing um and hopefully we'll have that done pretty soon just trying to get all these orders out all right guys have a good week